Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to gomahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, I'm going to teach you about call to a number on a website. We are going to track this particular option which is provided by Google Ads. Now, before I start the video, I want to explain you how Google tracks the calls to a number. Google basically tracks a number by replacing your number to their own number. That is known as Google forwarding number. When you create ads, let's say Nike shoes and let's assume I found a number here. When I click on this particular website, I reach Lalit Kart and the number shown here will be Google forwarding number. This will not be original number. When you click on that, Google will redirect that number to your number and Google tracks it. This is how Google tracks calling to a number. So now let's get started. So now. Once you are inside your Google Ads dashboard, hover over the goal, click on summary. And inside summary, if you have created any Google Ads conversion, you'll find here. If you haven't created, you'll find it blank. You need to click on new conversion action. And there inside, we need to click on phone calls. And there we need to click on calls to a phone on the website. And next, here we need to enter the conversion name. The conversion name, you can write anything. I'm going to write as Rahul call number on website tracking. So you can give any name to your conversion. Next, we have a value. You can give the conversion any value. Let's assume if you are spending $100 on any of your campaign and you get 10 calls. So each call you are going to get at 10 rupee, right? Or $10. So you adjust that value in terms of returns. So that is how this conversion value represent. I'm going to write as 10 and then next option we have is count. Let's assume one guy visited a website and each time he fills thousand times your website form. Then in that case, if you will count every interaction or make a click then in that case you are going to lose your conversion value and returns and it will completely mesh up so for one guy i want to track only one conversion and then we have next option to enter the phone number i'm going to choose my country first that is india and next i have to enter my phone number here 7858910056 i wrote my phone number but it's not going to work because the example if you'll see here is like 0741000 then there's a space and then they want me to write the number for india if you are going for other country let's say united States, then the pattern will be 201 there will be bracket and then there will be number like there will be hyphen and there's a space like this so make sure you should write a number in same way the example is shown here so I have to write zero here and then I have to give space after six number and then I have to write the same number in this area that display number and make sure this display number should be same as that in your website then only Google is going to replace your phone number with the Google forwarding number so let me take you to my website and here you can see it's showing in a different pattern that's not going to work so i have to log into my wp i'm going to end it with elementor till now i'll go back and copy the number in same pattern go back to your website and i'm going to edit it and the text i have to make sure everything is same even for url we have to match the case so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste in this area and I'm going to put dash in middle of it so it can make a continuity of the link. And once that is done, click on update. And go back to your Google Ads. And next option we have is call length. I'm going to make it 60 seconds because sometimes I may be busy. I might not count that call as conversion. If you call me, I say, Rahul, I'll call you after half an hour. That means that call will get disconnected within 30 seconds and I might lose a conversion so there will be inaccurate value so 30 second length is quite good and then there's a conversion window I'm gonna make it 60 days 
and then we have attribution model and attribution model data driven is quite awesome which is recommended by Google so I'm going to click and continue now here we have told three options install a tag yourself install the tag via email and use Google Tag Manager I'm gonna use GTM because you can change the things through GTM without ch touching your website if you install via website you're gonna mess everything so now I'm gonna use GTM if you want to learn how to install GTM to your website or already created a video and I'll drop you the link in the description box you can go through it and here is my website that is Lalit card I'm gonna click on it and once you are here I'm gonna click on add new tags click on tax configuration and here if you'll see that asking you to use Google Ads conversion tracking tag so inside GTM I'm gonna use Google Ads Converter Tracking tag and the conversion ID you'll find in this area. I'm gonna enter my conversion ID and conversion label is this. I'm gonna enter conversion label here. They are asking you to make sure that you should add conversion linker tag. So once you are inside your Google Ad Tags Manager, there you'll find conversion linker tag is missing in your container. So you have to click on create and the I'm going to choose the conversion linker you'll find here conversion linker and then we have to click on enable linking on all pages and then we have to choose the trigger and trigger should be there on all pages so once that is done you have to enter the name of this conversion linker I'll name it as Rahul Google conversion linker you can give name anything to it so I'm going to click save and next scroll down and there's a triggering option click on that triggering and I want to trigger it on all the pages because wherever the phone number is there it's going to track everything there I'm going to click save and before that you have to write down the name of it Google Ads Converter Tracking Phone Number I'm going to click save now I'm going to click it submit what are the changes you have done now to your conversion to your GTM you must write a short form Google as call tracking updated you can write full thing whatever you have done in this update such as you added the conversion tracking of all the basic details you can write I'm gonna move in a shortcut way once that is done click on publish now go back to your website and click on next now you have to click on preview inside your google tag manager and this is our page lalit card for which we added number now we are going back to the preview options whether our google tag is working or not so i'm going to click on connect now i'm going to click on this particular number and i'll go back now i'll click on continue and here you'll see GTM GA4 configuration is fired one times Google tag manager phone number tracking is fired one time I have created two or three conversions already so that is getting fired conversion linker is getting fired Rahul call click tracking tag is getting fired and two of the events is not fired yet that is Google ad conversion tracking form Google's GA4 thank you confirmation page is not yet fired that means our Google Ads conversion is working fine only this much was there in this video apart from this there's nothing extra I hope I was able to explain you everything in a proper way if you like the video give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you